right, all right, welcome back here. It is Wednesday, November 22nd, 2023, the day before Thanksgiving. Got some time off for the holiday. I came out here, we're going to put some work in on the 60. So I got a few things planned. Uh, where we left off was we hung the doors. So doors are on. Hadn't buffed them yet, so there's still some, some dust nibs. Also put my spotlights on both sides. <clears throat> That's where we left off on the last video, I believe. I don't I don't believe I had had to put the spotlights on at that time, but so these are new views. Rechrome new views. Okay. Doors on. Um during the week I started putting on the windshield stainless. So the, the lower's on, that goes first from my understanding, from what I can tell, that goes first. I did have to order new clips on eBay. Uh, take note that the clips on the end, <coughs> are different from all the rest. So the two end pieces are different and that's what I was lacking, that's what I needed. So unfortunately I had to order a set of clips just to get a, a couple of them out of there. What I'm going to do next is put this put this exterior stainless on. So I polished this myself, uh, sanding it and buffing it. In previous videos, you've seen me do that. <clears throat> I am going to run them across the buffer one more time here, just to try and get them a little bit, you know, get them to that shine that I really want them on. Um, I do have some just some generic silicone that when you guys watch the windshield video, we have a little bit of a gap down here. So I'm just going to put some silicone in there, nothing permanent, just going to dab it in, maybe inside and out, before I put the molding on, just to help out. I don't plan on driving this car in a thunderstorm, you know, the only time it's ever going to see water is, you know, when it gets washed. I don't, I don't plan on driving in a, in, in a thunderstorm, so. So that's today's plan, I'm going to get the stainless on, probably after that, hopefully move on into the interior windshield, uh, painted pieces that I have and go from there. Uh, I did buy some foam, so a couple days here I'm gonna, we're gonna take the do-it-yourself do uh, thing and, and to the next level. I'm gonna try and do my own seats. I'm gonna try and upholster my own seats. So anyways, let me get things situated. I gotta put the top down on the car so that these can go on. Bring you guys back once we get some work in. All right, all right, so I ran this thing across the buffer and uh, just to clean it up again, a couple fingerprints on it but overall it shined up pretty nice compared to how it looked so i have original clips for this so this should go original clips that came off with it with the speed nut so this thing should go right in place here try to do this one-handed and then it sits on the end with a with a small screw able to do this one hand bring y'all back once it's on all right all right so here we are it's been about an hour i got the top piece on i did run a little bit of silicone didn't video that but just run a bit of silicone between the uh gasket and the windshield frame there was a gap probably about half the size of my pinky just put a little bead in there and then the the header bow piece goes on with four clips uh 516 speed nuts and then these little, I call them horseshoe clips I don't, or trim, I don't know what they're called, but they go on, they pop on over the, uh, over the header stainless, header bow stainless, and over the windshield, over the lower. So I had to loosen up all the lower clips to kind of slide this over to the driver's side a little bit because we had a gap. So you have slack up under the, the, the middle buckle here, you, you know, that's, that's, a, that's at least an inch. That you can move out or, or recenter. So that went on pretty good. I just put some new stainless screws in to kind of clean it up a little bit. It doesn't hit the door. <clears throat> so all good on that. That's done. And I did repair these myself. Now they're not, you know, SEMA quality or whatever you want to call it, but. Hey man, they look all right. Got a little bit of leftover compound, but they cleaned up pretty good. They had this one had a had a nice dent right here 
and of course I polished them out. So it doesn't hit the door. Still kind of afraid to slam the door. <clears throat> Other side, same thing. The little side piece goes over the header bow stainless. It slides on over here. This filled in nice. And remember I put some silicone behind there. That filled in nice. Everything looks good to me. Stainless screws. And these pieces, uh, these were original to the car. And uh, they didn't exactly fall in place. They're under a little bit of tension, but, but not much, man, not much. The good thing is nothing was damaged on the area where it mounts or slides over. And I opted to not get these chrome plated because I didn't want to have to worry about chrome chipping. So these are stainless, you know, they can be in a bind and they're not gonna flake or nothing. So that's good. It doesn't hit the door, that's a concern. All right, moving right along. So windshield install is almost done. Um, next up, I think I'm gonna get the uh, interior pieces that I painted probably a year ago. Get them down from the from the closet. Um, pretty sure I have to run the uh, wind lace right here and probably let it hang or something. Um, so let me get those down and then that's gonna complete the windshield install and then I think I'm gonna move to the quarter glass. That's the plan at least put the top down. Might grab the boot, see how the boot looks. So bring you guys back once I start putting on these green pieces. All right, all right, we're back. So here's the inner windshield moldings that I painted probably last spring maybe. It's probably been nine months or so. Been in the house wrapped up. I'm not sure where this goes. I don't know. I only have one. So I don't know. It was in a bag that I put the screws in. I believe I have some new screws. I gotta find them. Uh, I have an interior screw kit. Anyways, these were painted. Ready to go. And I already test fit the lower, so I gotta figure out what order they go in. I believe the lowers go first. <clears throat> then the upper, then, I'm not sure, then maybe the knee knocker, then these. I call these knee knockers. Um, one piece that's important is this piece. Gotta have this. This is basically the center of the tube. So if you don't have that, you're gonna have a gap. So like I said, all this is original to the car. I took it off. Scuffed it, primered it, or I think I scuffed it and epoxied it, base clear. So it's ready to go. So let me look for my little uh, interior screw kit, see if they have these screws, and uh, bring you guys back once I start putting them in. All right, all right, here we are about, <laughs> about two hours later. This has been a fiasco. So I got it on. Um... I don't have an interior screw kit like I thought I did, but I do have a little package of random stainless bolts that I've been kind of filling in, substituting. So this process was the, the longer uh, front lower windshield first, then the centerpiece. This is where things get tricky. It doesn't exactly fit flush like you would imagine. And I don't see how it actually can because the screw hole is where it needs to be. And this one is too, and there's one on the bottom. Um, so putting in this inner painted molding, the rear view mirror bracket goes, the rear view mirror bracket and these pieces kind of go on at the same time. So you almost need three, three hands, but um, one screw there, Two screws here, that's solid. One screw here, one screw here, one screw here, one screw here. This is for the top latch and this is for the uh, sun visor brackets. Uh, then in the pictures that I have, you know, it, it appears as if this part goes last because it's sitting on top of the knee knockers. But actually it's easier if this part goes in first. 
you have to loosen the outside stainless. You don't have to take it out, but you definitely gotta loosen it because it goes under it. It goes under it and it also goes over this lip. So I had to loosen the stainless, didn't take it out, but loosened it, loosened the lower windshield stainless molding clip. Put this one on, put a screw here, put a screw here, then put the knee knocker on. You also gotta put this wind lace if you, if you want it. So I do want it. The interior kit came with it. I have it tucked under here. So eventually there's a, there's a retainer that is going to hold it on similar to that. Um, and then you put the knee knocker on. You could put the screw on the bottom. But the knee knocker has to slide over this. <laughs> so it, it took some finessing. Um, but it's on. Everything is tight. And I managed to not chip any paint or crack the windshield. So we're good. So now, I think I can get this other side a little bit faster. That's the only thing that's left is two pieces. And uh, I put the rear view mirror on. I have original sun visor brackets that are, I'm gonna try and clean them up, see what they look like. So anyways, I, I knew this was gonna be difficult. I, I dreaded it because when I took it apart, it seemed like these pieces and the knee knocker were under pressure when I took it apart. So I knew, I knew what I was getting into. Just been kind of dreading it, but two more pieces left. Bring you guys back once it's all wrapped up. All right, all right. So it is 6.30 now. 6.30 p.m. It's been a full day out here messing with this windshield trim, which <clears throat> got it back on pretty good. It doesn't really exactly go back exactly how it was when it came off. These are not tight. So the lower windshield goes first with the little center piece that I showed previously. Then uh, you have to loosen this one, the stainless a little bit, and uh, and then get it, get this one on, and then put the stainless back over it as you can see. And then the knee knocker goes under the whole thing and pushes up and screws in, screws in, in the bottom, screws in there. With the, with the wind lace, same thing on this side. And uh, man, it's pretty nerve wracking to do this without, without scratching the paint. And I managed to do that without scratching paint, so I just had to really take my time. Uh, I did put the mirror, uh, rear view mirror. <clears throat> it's a brand new bracket and mirror. And then, the wiper, uh, I'm not I'm sorry, uh, sun visor brackets, These, those are original to the car. I just ran their pot metal. I ran them across the buffer, and man, they actually shined up, you know, nice enough to put on the car. I think those things cost probably about $250 a pair, and uh, so I'm not, I'm not buying that. I did keep the original screws. I kept the original set screw, which is a flathead. The hardware that comes with the reproduction mirror sucks um so I, I end up keeping the old uh rearview mirror bracket and use the screw out of that so the dash is done i threw the convertible top switch on there it's kind of just mocked up uh, well the dash isn't done done but i'm debating on a radio or a radio delete camera keeps going to sleep here um but I'm glad to get all this stuff off the shelf in the house. It's take, taking up space. Uh, so the windshield install is complete. <coughs> and I'm digging the interior color. It's the color of the seat covers. So yeah, we're Moving right along on the interior, now, of course it's not going to go in until the car's wired up, but I mean the door panels and side glass can go on. That's probably going to be next, is going to be a uh, side glass install, quarter glass. I, I intended to do that today, but man, I just ran out of time. I do have the weather strip that goes here. I have weather strip for the whole car. So we're just taking boxes out and putting them on the car. Finally put the little brackets on the top latch. They've been laying on the floor pan. So that's a look at the dash. 
I think that's going to do it for this video. Next up is going to be the side glass install. Actually, no. That's probably going to be the next video I post. Uh, but uh, I'm going to attempt to uh, cover the seats myself. So still got a lot of fingerprints all over everything. But overall, man, it's, it's coming together. It's coming together. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking the dash. I had a vision for that. It looks just how I wanted it. So hope you guys enjoyed this little update. Sorry I didn't record a whole lot. It was extremely frustrating. Uh, trying to get screws long enough. Trying to trying to put this stuff together without cracking the windshield or, or scratching the trim. is just really nerve-wracking. So, And it took me a few hours. But it's in. It's in and it's tight. Hope you guys enjoyed this update. Thanks for watching. Y'all stay tuned for more work.